Hi guys, it's that time. It's Thursday, one o'clock for your next class at Pro Air University. Welcome. In today's class, we're going to talk about how to take your traveling toolboxes, cases, and make them into a portable working airbrush station. I've been doing this for a bazillion years, and I have lots of, not lots, but I have a few YouTubes out there where I have taken a small case and transformed it into something that even fit into a small, into my trunk of my sports car. But we're going to talk about some um, tools that I'm using, some ideas. This is all ideas because you at home may have your own little toolbox or how you want to set up your um, portable station and this may enlighten you to some options. Alrighty? So anyways, I wanted to first start off by thanking Darla. Big shout out to you. She was our very first guest artist that we had on Tuesday and she did um, a special effects class. And if you missed it, just go back, dated, into our Facebook page and you could see what she did. It was awesome. And she also makes her own prosthetic pieces that you could use if you, get, if you decide to get into special effects makeup. So anyways, come on, I'm gonna show you a few things here. So what we're gonna be using, I have some drills, some drill bite bits, I have a saw, and I have a round um, hole, pink, I forgot what this is called. <laughs> I have a fan, alrighty, because we're gonna talk about how you could enclose your compressor inside your toolbox and to keeping it cool. And then of course I have a holster, which is what you're gonna secure your airbrushes with. And this is an old one, an oldie but goodie that I designed some years ago. So anyways, this is the first thing I wanted to show you that I have here. If you want to know what type of a fan that you may want to get, this should give you an idea what to look for when you're on Amazon. But the biggest feature, you gotta make sure it has a 110, you know, your plug or your 120 volt um, plugs here. So this mine that I have is very old. So they have improved it, but anyways, but I'm gonna use what I have. But you get the idea what I'm going to be showing you. Has anybody signed on yet? Yep. Excellent, well good. So I'm gonna show you two types of cases. Take a little walk on the wild side. Uh, this, is, this is the Fat Max. Many folks have used the Fat Max. It's about uh, eight years old now, and the newest, a model that you can find at, um, I think it's Home Depot, is their Ridge. This is the newest model for a, a traveling toolbox. So I've already done some work to them in the past, but I'm still gonna walk you through it to what, what I have done. Now, let's first talk about the Fat Max. Um, some years ago, John Place, he did a really nice Facebook, um, not Facebook, you, YouTube, how he did deconstruct his case. So he showed in his where he drilled out these holes in the front to put your bottles. If you don't understand what that means, it looks like this. So when he drilled the holes, so you would put your makeup bottles and your guns would be here and the hoses would come down. But I tried that and I'm like, I think John meant to put it on the, the back side because if you have your airbrushes here and when we open your case, it's a little bit hard to get through all your uh, little drawers here when your hoses are facing the front. So really, I would have put the holes here in the back and used the back side. So then your guns will load here, the hoses would come in the back, and then all your supplies, which you don't want your kids to get into, would be stored in the back. But let me first show, I'll show you some ways and how we're going to still work with this case, okay? So again, if you drill the holes and you're thinking, well, what size drill and tools I'm going to use? So again, this one is what you would use like a lot of times that you could buy these 
to putting on knobs and doors and such. And I believe this one is a three quarter inch. If you're not sure what size you want, you could take your bottle with you to the store and find one that fits. This one's a little bit too big, as you can see. Okay, because I'm gonna use this one for hoses. But for this one here, you want a half inch. That will fit really nice for here. And again, if you have your drill, you secure it in. But we're gonna talk about how to use this. Questions so far? Nah, let's keep on going. So, the goal is when you have your case, you want to, to be able to store your compressor inside your case, all righty? And when your tool case has such a big compartment, why not? But the problem is when you use a compressor, they can get hot, and yet when you're outside. Um, so you need to have airflow. So first off, what I have done as you can see in my case right now, I have holes. I turn this into Swiss cheese. <laughs> and how one would learn how to drill these holes. Okay. So these are the three quarter inches I explained to you. All right, righty. So when you have your case and you want to put in a hole, you give a first small hole because as you can see with this piece it has a lead drill okay so I'm going to now take this off lock 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 it in now here I have a hole that I pre-made and now this is going to allow me to secure it and hold it in place if you do not do that as you're trying to drill it's going to slip and slide and travel. So this gives you a little secure spot to hold it in. Okay? All right. Done. Here's your hole. And we got a little bit of a mess here. Alrighty, see how easy that was? And it's okay to drill into your toolbox. Some, some folks will buy products and think, oh my God, I'm not going to um, drill a hole in things, you know? But that's what it's used for. Make it your own, alrighty? So I'm gonna put this away. So again, as you can see, I put holes on the side, holes in the back, and some holes in the front. Now, another point to point out, the ones down the floor, once you put in your compressor, stay there. Based upon where you position your case, if you're at an indoor job, your power line, it could come out this side, or it could go out that side. So when I put my compressor, inside okay I'm going to secure my extension cord okay and but do I come out here do I come out this side so that's why the holes on both sides are also very nice to have all right so before I put in the compressor now we're going to talk about the fan as you can see I have the fan here you know and be, the reason why I chose here, this is more of a flat um, surface. I don't know if I could put it here because when you buy your fan, whoops, it comes with like a little fan plate, you know, to make sure that someone doesn't put their, oh, it does fit on there. I guess this would have been a fine spot also. So again, it's your choice. But the fan that I bought, happens to have a blue light that it glows, kind of cool. So, when you get your fan, let me go back to my supply. Oh, 
Okay. So here's your fan. So when you have your fan, as you see how it looks, okay, I'm not going to keep this on the outside. Then the reason being is if you store this in your car, you may bump it into something, or you may kick it. So I would rather put it on the inside and put the plate on the front to preventing from somebody, you know, again, putting in a finger and such. Okay, so before I line this up, any questions so far? Really, folks must love what I have going on. I may want to, is this okay to see or should I get a, a better light? It's fine. Okay, everybody seeing this? Okay, so before I start to drilling holes, okay, you could do a few things. I made a template. I just took my fan plate, okay, and just put little dots. I could put a piece of tape up here, okay? And then I could take my drill and make my holes. All right, so we're just gonna pretend. We're gonna do that. So you just drill into the case, all four spots, okay? What kind of fan do you buy? This is what I just showed you. There you go. That's what you're gonna want to get. AC120V. Okay, Exhaust it's the same fan. kind of little fans you, that you see in your computers, cabinets, okay? Now, the hole, okay? Again, you could make a template and make a circle, but this one here is a little bit more trickier. You'll need one of these saws, or if it depends what type of tools you have at home. I gotta turn it on. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so just like we did with your larger, I will go ahead and make a hole. Okay, so now I have a hole in there. So, and then you just drew a line for your um, circle. And then you put your drill, I mean you drill, your little saw saw here. Now you made your hole. If it's kind of a sharp edge, you always could take a file and make it a softer, but it really doesn't matter. Now, once you have your holes drilled and the hole for your fan, like anything else, you're gonna need your nuts and bolts, your lock washers, and these would come with your kit when you buy this, okay? So, which side do you use? I would think this side you want on the outside because we're gonna have a blue light that's just gonna glow here. You don't wanna put this on the outside. So keep this on the inside. So again, so I'm trying to run through this kind of fast. And, oh, I should show, show you. See how this has a hole for your, to go through? Okay, so that's what we're going to achieve. We're gonna put this through. And put in your lock wash. And washer. I mean your washer and your nut. All right, I could do this one-handed. And you repeat, of course, all the same steps until you complete this. 
when I first started doing this, I made the mistakes to where sometimes they don't line up and I have to force things to working. But I have gone through a few cases. I used to have um, a few team of artists. I think I had about, what, six, eight on cases at one time. So I would send everyone out with their own case. So I built quite a few cases. And then you can store all your supplies. And it's just kind of nice. Now your size of your compressor also depends upon the size of your storage. As you can see in here, I could put a larger comp compressor in here. Now I'm just gonna hand tighten these things down. Of course, the last one is gonna give me a problem. But for right now, he can sit, sit there. Now, just give me an idea. You always want to test it before you really proceed. And where's my iron off? Ooh, I'll turn off the lights in here, but you see it glows a nice blue light. Isn't that cool? And then you can feel, you have to believe my hand here, but there's wind blowing in here. So it's taking the air from the outside to the inside. And because I'll have my compressor inside here, it's gonna help keep it cooler. Now again, what I do, I use one extension cord and I'll plug in the compressor and the fan. So all I do is when I pull my plug out on the outside, one plug will turn both on. I don't need to reach in and turn on my compressor. They both come on at the same time. I must be doing very well. There is no questions going on. Really, I'm impressed. So I hope you guys are enjoying our uh, workshop classes online. You know, while you have some time to upgrade your own um, equipment. I've been doing all these little classes because once you're ready to go back to work, you have a lot more to offer. Barry Perkins says he's taking notes. <laughs> hey Barry, we love you. So now with this case, I'm gonna show you a fun, cool trick here. Hold on. A little surprise. I'm gonna turn it. Now, you could get these LED light strips, okay? Now this could, if you really wanna set yourself apart from the rest or just have some fun, you know, cause I know some artists are inspired by music, lights and all that. Well, you could take your, your case, your workshop table, and this one has the tack. So you could stick it to where, to where you want it to go, like you could outline, outline it. So again, oh, there we go, we're back. you could keep this, your plug on the inside. Let's see, I know there's a right side and the wrong side of these things. Okay, so I went to turn it on. It's okay, it's not broken. It's just that I've learned that these strips have the right side and the wrong side. Ooh. Ooh, so now you could trick out your own little station with some extra lights. Isn't that killer? Man, I wish they had this for me back in 2003 when I started doing this stuff. Yeah, I've been around for that long. So. Anyway, so this is a nice little add-on to your kit.
okay? And again, if you just keep your extension cord inside, one plug, plug in, lights it all at once, and you're all set to go. Like it. All right. Take this out. So again, you could buy this again. This is an LED light strip. I think we got these on on Am on Amazon. And again, you might get the one that has your plug. Now, if you happen to be watching me from Europe, okay, so you're going to need to get your power source that is specific for your country. So let me put this one aside. All righty. So let me turn off the fan in here. Now, inside the case here, again, this is just for the model of the Fat Max. Now, these extra holes in the back, there's a reason why I had that too, besides the airflow. Okay? In my prior class, I think it was class two. I talked about quick disconnects. So I have my quick disconnect here for my hoses. I'm just going to use four. Okay, they're all back here. Now for my station, I'm going to use these holes to load out my hoses. Oh, that didn't work. Let me get them out. See, this is why you gotta have the hose guard. Some, it's a new product that I, we have and it helps keep your hoses from doing this. <laughs> Tangling. So I'm gonna throw these two out here. And I got these two going here. Now, was it stuck on? Okay. Nope. So now, the back of your box, which really will turn into the front of your box. Okay, now we have some choices. The top of your case is what's gonna be used for your tabletop, for your airbrushes, your paints, wipes and all that sort of stuff. Now, an older video of mine, I made one of these. Because sometimes I would do some high-end events, like a bar bat mitzvah, and I always wanted to, I didn't want guests to see how I came in just with like a toolbox. So to hide this, again, this is, 15 years ago that I made this. But it's still a great concept and I'm sure you can do something better. So what you would do, you would put Velcro strips to the top. Because we're gonna talk about these holes about how you're gonna secure your airbrush stands. So here, I created a tabletop that would hide your case. I can't hear the oohs and ahs, or what a great idea. And then your hoses, this is where my hose guard came into play again many years ago. I made it into my tabletop. So then my hoses came through here. So again, your guest never got to see your case and how nice this looked. Isn't that a great idea? And then you could change your skirting to your themes. Now, if you don't have a lot of tools, you could even use just a cloth and a staple gun and just staple this onto 
afraid. Now, this I'm gonna show, show you. This is an older stand. Some of you may still own one of these. These I made, um, I think 13 years ago. Who's, who has had one of these? So this part will be on the bottom. And it, that's why I made this hole here. That's where this came through. And I would secure this in, and then I'd line up my airbrushes, and away I go. And then back here was all your stencil boxes and so on and so forth. So, yeah, this is my old one. Hey, I'm gonna show you a little, the history of things really quickly. So some of you may have seen or even bought one of these from years ago. Now, Let's see if anybody knew or even bought one of these old ones. I made these back in 2003. This is my very first holster idea. I kept this one just for sent sentimental value. So I physically made these with my dad. So these are made out of PVC pipes or CPVC pipes. But this was the whole concept except so I had this piece here, you know, it's the same idea as this, but this was made out of piping, except you had to put your airbrush in here backwards, not with the tip in, but tip out. This is how I first did start, is making these. Even this cute little product here, you could be on the top, you could be on the top or on the side. Yeah, I made, I said, made this back in 2003. And then I happened to go to China one year um, and somebody out there in China went to my website and saw this. And they came to see me at what I was doing at the job out there. And they said, we can make you this. Isn't that cool? So I sold these for many years. But as time went on, I noticed these plastic tips would break. And that's where now, I have the newer and improved holster where this is indestructible. Made in America? Made in the United States. Right. So, now let's go back and how we're going to secure the holster to your toolbox. So again, this is just one idea how you could modify your toolbox. Let me slide these through. And then when you're done with your job, you just take this off and now you can see your tool. All right. So, again, your toolbox is meant to be drilled through. Okay, very easy. As you get the, the holsters, they come with holes. Okay, so you just align, align them up. So like in this case, I don't want to be too far back. I want to move it up. And then I just drill holes. Like in this case, I already have one there lined up. But I don't have one here. Look how easy that was. But before you do drill, look at the bottom side of your lid. Okay, now you wanna make sure that your holes are not gonna be, gonna come through where some of these support beams or support crosses are at, okay? So you gotta know where it's gonna be lined up at. Now again, this was a piece of uh, cardboard that I had when, the John, when John Place had, had his idea where you put your bottles on top, which many folks still love to use the bottles in their case. So I have a piece of cardboard to hold it so it doesn't slide through. But anyway, so watch where your holes are at. Okay, so. Any questions? Just taking some awesome notes. Now, even the holster, my older ones like these, the holes may not line up 
perfectly with the hose guard. But you know what? The drill goes through metal too. So it all lines up. So the newer um, holsters, the holes will line up. Okay, but if they don't, like one of these ones here, let's see. Again, these are an older model. The holes do not line up. But you know, again, like I said, it lines up and you can put a hole right through it. Now the reason why I'm gonna bring this out, it's all about choices and how you wanna set up your toolbox. So this one here, gotta have your supply of wing nuts and bolts. Okay. So this one here, I happen to have some wing nuts because I may want to take this off at the end of my job. So here, plus it depends how far I need to go down. So a very easy attachment, just slide it through. wing nut and put a wing nut in on the back. Now, because we have the hose guard, which is something new that you could get at the pro Air website. Okay. Again, this could work with any type of um, um, airbrush mount. It could just be mounted just like this. If you happen to have a different kind of um, a holster. So anyway, so I'm gonna line this up here and here. And then I'm gonna take the holst this holster here. Oh, there we go. Man, I used to love to sit in, in my house. Oh, this one doesn't fit. There it goes. Where'd it go? You grabbed the wrong holster. Oh, I grabbed them, okay. There we go. Nice. And now your hoses, you know, like that tape tabletop that I had before where I had the holes in it for the hose. Well, that's what I remade in this portable hose guard. So you get the idea of it. Maybe I should have just secured that down. So now when you put your hoses through here, it's the same thing. That you should put them in correctly before you start. So this way it does avoid them being tangled. One goes here, one goes here, there. Now it slides so much nicer and it keeps everything nice and neat. So anyway, so you can see how I've done this, right? So, that's working with the Fat Max. Now let's talk about this one. Okay, let's move on. Now this ridge model. When you buy these, you buy each compartment separate. and you can build it the way you like. This model comes in four different kinds of compartments. And one of them happens to have 
like a basket. So my holes for the compressor are already built in. So I don't have to use the bottom. I use the bottom to store my stencils, my makeup, and all my other supplies are kept down below. Now in here, except I found the holes, if I'm still doing my, my hose idea to slide through, it was a little bit, um, uh, the holes are too small for me to get my hoses through. As you can see, the, ho the hoses would not go through. But because this is just plastic, that's an easy fix. All I did was take my blade here and I cut them off. You see what I did here? I just cut them off. And I put a piece of uh, duct tape because it was a little bit uh, sharp. So I don't, you know, fray my hoses. Or file it. Or file it, yeah. And then in the back, I made a bigger hole right here. You know why? That's where my extension cord plug will go out as I lay my compressor here. But again, don't be afraid to drill holes and, you know, because it makes it more, fun, more easier for you to function at your job. Don't worry, you're not gonna hurt it some feelings. Because you're gonna love it more because of what it's doing. So, again, you put your compressor in here, your hoses, you bring them out, and then back to the top. This is all the same concept that I'm doing like I did with this Fat Max and past toolboxes that I have torn apart. Okay, this one secures on the strap on the side. So again, look at the nice top. Okay, now I'm gonna look at the inside. So I need to drill through all this. So I have to make sure I have screws long enough to come through this case. Okay, so as you see, I've already drilled the holes. Or I can put the Velcro on top of here and put a tabletop on top. So the Velcro will hold it in place and then you can peel it off and have a skirt or something to go around. I mean, not one question? You gotta be kidding me. Folks are in awe and watching this. Okay, so, same concept. You know, you could take your, um, like I had here many years ago. This is an old, I do not sell this. This is old, okay? So back in the day, I would put this here. See how the holes lined up for this? Okay, and then I would have my hoses come out here, then I would mount my guns. But now, I use the holster, I secure it onto here, and it fits. Same thing, drill the holes, put your wing, wing nuts through, you're good. Or you could take your hose guard, and now add that to it. I gotta take this one off, and concept goes here. So you get the idea. Looks like this one's a little bit off. And guess what? I'll just drill the hole. So this one must have been set up for one of the older holsters that I had because the holes were a little bit um, different. So good, I got this one in. Not gonna fight with me. I'm a woman with the drill, watch out. How professional and compact that you can make your station something to travel. I know when I would do bar and bat mitzvahs and birthday parties, I don't know if you've experienced this, but sometimes when you set up in one spot, they say, oh, you're here for an hour, but we want you in the next room to set up. So how do you transport your table and everything else? Well, that's what's so nice when your hoses come out, everything. You just pick this up and away you go.
everything is transportable. I've experienced that enough. And how long does it take me to set up a case? It took me, to, I, I could be set up with my guns, ready to go in about 10 to 15 minutes. That's all it took. Like, it, like anything else, the more you do it, the faster you become. So again, back to when you have your hoses, always in the right place. You got your guns, snap them in. Look how nice and neat that is. And if even you wanted to, you could even, you know, conceal all this. But um, here I don't need a fan because I had enough airflow, but it, you could still put in a flat a fan if you did want to. But yeah, look how nice this is. So yeah, you can look in, you know, for fans. Again, I'm gonna show you the fans, what kind you would get. These fans are little fans that's used for computers and cabinets. And let's see, anything else to show you? Hmm. I think that does show a lot of my show and tell here, how to build your... What's nice about this one, because you could break it apart, yes. the pieces are less heavy. Right. We had some people comment saying their Fat Max was so heavy to put in their car. Correct, right. The model that was before the Fat Max, okay, because every two, three years, the store tends to change its um, models, okay? So the model before this one was almost like this one where it was just a two case, where it had a bottom and a top that you could take apart. In fact, if you look up my older YouTube where it's called Size Does matter you could see the older cases and I did the exact same things with the fan um, tabletop and then they came out with the fat max and I agree with you being five foot three and try to lift this thing in the back of a truck it killed me it was pretty pretty tough and then when they came out with this one a few years ago I was like yeah finally we got them in split cases and then they had four of them to pick from and these were the three models that I picked. And this is how I did a de I um, deconstruct it. And I didn't need to do as much work with the holes because they were already here. I guess they heard me in my dreams. Build me a case where it's got ventilation. <laughs> they heard me. So yeah, pretty much this is what. So again, I'm at a birthday party. And they said, oh, I need you to go over there. And I'm like, yes, ma'am, I could do this. And away I go and move my whole case. Isn't that nice? So anyways, so this is my class for today at Pro Air University. My goal is to give you um, fun tools and projects to enhance your own system so you will be ready to do something new. So again, crank things up, add some lights, that would be fun. And I'm glad you support those um, companies like Pro Air, because we invest in you. We take the time to take care of you, plus we like to help you develop better ways of doing your job. Because at the same time, you support us. Thanks again for showing up here at Show Offs, and make sure you check out our new website, um, it's at Pro Air, double eyes because all eyes on you.com. Thanks again, guys. Bye bye.